Today, we're diving deep into one of the most notorious heart syndromes out there, Brugada syndrome. It's the stuff cardiologists lose sleep over, and trust me, it's just as serious as it sounds. Brugada syndrome is one of those sneaky conditions that doesn't always come with symptoms until, boom, you're dealing with life-threatening arrhythmias like ventricular fibrillation. Scary, right? And what makes it worse is that a person can seem perfectly fine until, well, they're not. So it got this ominous nickname, The Silent Killer, which honestly sounds like a movie title, doesn't it? Now, when we say silent killer, we're not talking about something that creeps up slowly over time, like hypertension or diabetes. Nope, Brugada syndrome can strike out of nowhere, often with no symptoms until a person is already facing a life-threatening situation, mm -hmm. so it, like sudden cardiac arrest. It's the kind of condition that hides in plain sight, lurking beneath the surface, and that's what makes it so dangerous. So why does Brugada syndrome deserve that ominous nickname? Let's break it down. Brugada is a genetic disorder that primarily messes with the heart's electrical system, particularly the sodium channels. These faulty sodium channels cause the heart to slip into dangerously abnormal rhythms, like ventricular fibrillation. And here's the kicker. This can happen without any warning signs. No chest pain, no shortness of breath, just sudden, unexpected heart failure. But don't worry, this syndrome does leave clues, clues that you can spot on an ECG, which is exactly what we're gonna talk about today. So let's dive into what you should be looking for when it comes to Brugada. Brugada syndrome leaves its mark in specific ECG patterns, but unless you know what to look for, it can easily fly under the radar. The most notorious pattern is called the type one Brugada pattern. Picture this, in the right precordial leads, particularly V1 and V2, you'll see what we call a coved ST segment elevation. It's like the ECG is waving a red flag. There's a sudden rise of at least two millimeters in the ST segment, followed by a downward slope, and then a negative T wave. That's the telltale sign that should grab your attention because this pattern is strongly linked to sudden cardiac death. Now we've talked about type one, but there are actually three types of ECG patterns that might indicate Brugada syndrome. Type 2 gives you that infamous saddleback ST segment elevation, less dangerous, but still something to watch. And type 3, well, it's a mix of the two, with some elevation, but not enough to hit the diagnostic criteria for type 1. Yep, Brugada doesn't make it easy on us. It likes to play a guessing game. But here's the thing. People with Brugada syndrome often don't show symptoms before that first catastrophic event. They might faint which could be a warning sign of something more sinister, uh, but it's often brushed off as a one-off episode. In reality, that fainting episode could be a precursor to something much worse, like ventricular fibrillation or a complete collapse of the heart's rhythm. And if that doesn't give you chills, here's another twist. Sometimes the ECG won't even show the Brugada pattern unless the right conditions are met. In fact, Certain medications, like sodium channel blockers, may be needed to provoke the pattern, this revealing the syndrome in people who otherwise have a normal ECG. It's almost like Brugada syndrome is lurking, waiting to strike when you least expect it. And if Brugada is confirmed, treatment often involves an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD. Think of it like a life-saving backup plan for the heart, ready to jump into action if those dangerous rhythms appear. So remember, the role of the ECG in diagnosing Brugada syndrome can't, can't be overstated. Spotting those patterns early could be the difference between a regular follow-up and a potentially life-saving intervention. To sum it up, Brugada syndrome is called the silent killer because it hides behind a facade of normalcy, waiting for the right moment to cause sudden cardiac death. That's why early detection through ECG is so crucial. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you in the next video.